So Chip Chandler is here. I'm so glad you came. Thanks. I feel like that you have the love of movies like I do, like Sheldon does. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what kind of movie. There's not a certain kind of movie that I like. I just like movies. Yeah, I like to be taken away. I like to is go to the theater and just fall into somebody else's life for a couple of hours yeah. and see where it goes. Yeah, and it's always a lot of fun. the movie, you know, air conditioned. And now, can you believe movies having the beautiful seats and you can get, mm -hmm. you know, drinks delivered? Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. It's, it's wonderful. Got to get that that theater experience yes. as great as it as they can because it's so easy to just stay home. Yes, and I don't and I don't want to do that with I don't movies. Either. I want to yeah. go. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand, Chip uh, has has always been right on with the Oscars. Mm. I, you have. Okay. Listen, I follow you, and I'm <laughs> like Chip said, and Sheldon kind of is like that too. He's like that movie. You know, that's the one I go and see him because y'all mm -hmm. say. Thanks. So tell us what you think is going to happen. All right, so the Oscars are Sunday night, and they're starting an hour earlier oh, this year. Oh, they are. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's something everybody needs to remember. If okay. you turn it, tune in an hour late, you're going to miss some of the big award. You'll miss oh. supporting actors and supporting actor, probably, and you'll miss I a lot of the see. fun. Yeah. I want to see. So, yeah, it's we've got uh, Oppenheimer nominated for the most Oscars this year. It's probably going to do really, really well. Really? Um, it's It's... The one that the consensus is really built around in most of the categories it's nominated for. Thirteen nominations yeah, I think so. somewhere yeah, around yeah. there. Yeah, they probably win seven, maybe eight. Whenever you saw it, oh, what yeah. did you what did you think? Oppen whenever you I loved Oppenheimer when I saw it. I thought, yes, it's a three hour movie, but it just flew past. Oh, I did really? Not, it didn't. I don't remember any lag in it. I remember sensational performances across the board. Wonderful. I, I just I Ooh. really really enjoyed it. It's okay. one of my favorites of the year. Tell me, uh, are it's up for Best Picture. It's up for Best Picture, which is probably going to win. It's up for Best Director for Christopher Nolan. Oh. Amazingly, this is probably the first time he's going to win an Oscar. He's been oh. nominated eight times, including the three specific nominations that he got this year for Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Adapted Screenplay. Oh. So he's probably going to win Best Director and Best Picture this year. Finally, um, have, have two Oscars to his name after 20 five years really? in the industry yeah I didn't realize that. yeah um, I think uh, it will probably also win supporting actor for Robert Downey jr. Ooh. oh he's he's gonna, I forgot yeah. he's in that yeah he's been give, giving great speeches all along and all the precursor things and that doesn't mean he's gonna get more votes but it's sure if they're tossed between two like well I know he's gonna give me a good good speech yeah. so but no he's he's very well thought of in the industry he um, is coming back into more serious filmmaking after spending so many years in the Marvel films, which I'm not I saying know, I I know. anything against, but he's he's getting back into he's no playing new Chaplin. characters. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Um, and and uh, I love the story of Downey Jr. because mm -hmm. it it's it's my favorite. It's an underdog, yep. and he comes back and he's killing it. And mm -hmm. I, that's one of yeah. that's my favorite. It's really stories. cool to see. Yeah. He'll have a really emotional um, acceptance speech, I Ooh. imagine. Yeah. Okay. What about best and actress? Funny. Best actress. It's um, really two between two of the actors. Uh, Lily Gladstone oh. for uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. She's the first um, actress who identifies as Native American to be uh, nominated for an Oscar, and um, very likely going to be a historic win. Oh. The one who could pro possibly take it away is Emma Stone for Poor Things. It's I haven't a, seen that oh, one. Oh, it's wonderful. It was here for about that long. It's back a little bit this week at the Cinemark for their Oscar movie week. Um, okay. They do all 10 Best Picture nominees and the live action animated shorts okay. at different times over the course of a week. Um, Poor Things was here for about that long. She's amazing. It's like a Frankenstein's type, Frankenstein oh, type story. She'd be like a Frankenstein's monster. She's got obviously the body of an adult, but they've... Um, Willem Dafoe has implanted the brain of a baby inside really? of her. And so we watch her through all the stages of growth. That is so and crazy, it, and Chip. And she, Emma Stone is woman. redheaded. Yes. Yeah, I, she's, uh, she's good. She's so good. She's, she's already good. won an Oscar for La La Land, so she may not move too soon for that. And then the historic nature of Lilith Gladstone and the amazing work she did in Killers of the Flower Moon. She didn't have as much screen time. I mean, Emma Stone was the central character and in oh, every gotcha. scene almost of Poor gotcha. Things. Lily Gladstone isn't in every scene and she, there's a long period that she drops out of the story for good reason, 
but her presence is always there. I just I loved her performance. Really, in that. very excited. Well, let me let me do this. We've got to take a break. Will you stick around? Sure. And let's talk more because there's a couple more I want to ask you. Yeah. Uh, and and I know our producers like, what are you doing? <laughs> but we got we got to talk just Sorry, one Maddie. more time. <laughs> Sorry, Maddie. <laughs> uh, let's take a break and we'll come back.